Informed consent is an essential part of any healthcare intervention and it's important to get it right. So in this video we'll show you a role play of um, the informed consent process in a typical acupuncture session. So Samantha, we just finished uh, the clinical interview and we're now ready to start. So I will run you through uh, the process of the acupuncture session today and I'll propose you the treatment plan. Uh, if you're happy to move with this treatment plan, we'll just um, sign the informed consent that I have here and we'll go um, in the treatment room. Okay. So um, for the acupuncture session, um, in acupuncture we, um, I will insert some needles in your body, so mainly in your arms, legs and at the top of your head. Uh, and these needles are very thin, it's 100 times thinner than syringes. Uh, yet, you may still feel some pain when I insert the needle, it happens. Uh, also, it's important to know that when I'm going to manipulate the needles, when they are inside um, the tissues, there might be some sensations of soreness, of tightness, and some heaviness. Th this is absolutely normal. Uh, this is a sensation we're expecting, and is usually a good sign. If during the session you feel this is too strong and uh, just let me know at any time and I can adjust the needles so you feel comfortable. Sure. All right. Um, so an acupuncture, as for any type of healthcare intervention, there will be some risks involved. And in acupuncture, these risks involve basically hematoma, which is an upraised bruise. Um, there are some normal bruises as well. There might be some after treatment discomfort and also some painting, this happens as well. All of these are very minor and they will result naturally over time, so you don't have to worry too much. All right. Sometimes there is a risk of pneumothorax, um, nerve injury and organ damage. This is very rare, although this is serious, but it happens very rarely in the clinic and especially if we follow the safety procedures. Can I know what pneumothorax means? Good question. So pneumothorax is a condition in which air penetrates in the pleural, which is the tissue between the lung and the thoracic cage. And when this happens, the lung will collapse and you will have trouble breathing. Uh, so this happens only when we needle in the area of the lung. But today we're not going to do that. We're not going to put needles along, around the lungs, so you don't have to worry about that. There is virtually no risk of pneumothorax. Okay. Good. Um, for our treatment plan, so our treatment will help you to improve your mood and improve your sleep to get a better quality of life. And I'm expecting that in four or five sessions you will experience a significant improvement. Uh, the whole treatment course may take up to 15 sessions approximately. It's important to understand that it varies from one person to another, so it might be a short, slightly shorter or slightly longer depending on your response. Right. Do you have any question at this stage? If I could not continue the treatment, is mm. that okay? So we really recommend you to go through the whole treatment course to have the best outcome. Uh, if for any reason you have to discontinue and you need to stop, there is no problem. You can just stop at any time and for any reason. Um, and there is also no financial burden because we are paying in a session base. Uh, so if you need to stop, there will be no financial burden. Okay, thank you. All right, great. Um, in this case, if you don't have any other question, we'll just, um, I'll just give you this form, this consent form. So you can just read this, please. And uh, if there is no problem, you can just sign here. All right, All right. Sure. Thank you very much. So Samantha, we're, not, we're now ready to go and uh, we're going to start the kneeling. So I will ask you to take off your shoes, then lie down on this bed face up and uh, just um, roll up your sleeve to the elbow and the pants to, up to the knee. So I can needle in the arms and legs. Is that all right? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, let's start then.
Perfect. Okay, so today I'm going to use a few points. So the first point will be over here, and then I will use a point right here. I will also need all one point here and another here. All right, let's go. In summary, when you take informed consent, it's very important to describe your treatment plan and then to explain the risks to the patient. Also very importantly, you need to give opportunities to the patient to ask questions and make sure you answer all the questions of the patient before starting anything. Then you obtain consent, so it can be written or oral consent. In Australia, it's not compulsory to take written consent. It's also important to reassess the consent as you go during the treatment. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Johan Berling, clinician, lecturer and researcher. This video was produced by Sydney Institute of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Please check our tutorials and more information on the school in the description below. You can join our community and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good practice and take care.